Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Rafael and thank you for watching today's video. Today I want to talk about weapon handling and in Total Update 10 weapon handling got a huge buff. Uh, actually, they made weapon handling being a, in like usable attribute, so to say, uh, because before that it, the, the stats that it offered were very bad uh, to the point that it wasn't even worth using it. Right now, after Title Update 10, uh, they made weapon handling giving you Actually, 1% one, 1 weapon handling now gives you 1% weapon accuracy, stability, reload speed, and swap speed. Instead of uh, before title update 10, it was 0.25%, so you can see there is a huge increase there. And there are many people who think that weapon handling still is a very bad attribute and it has no good uses. But the, re but the reality is that if you use weapon handling the way that is it was supposed to be used, uh, then you can have a huge difference in your gameplay and you will see a huge impact in your playstyle. And, and what I mean by that uh, is that adding weapon handling to weapons that don't actually use it, then it's a waste of an attribute and even a talent if you decide to use the braced uh, talent on the chest piece which gives you 45% uh, weapon handling when you're behind cover. If you use those attributes and, and that talent with a very good assault rifle or with an SMG that doesn't have higher recoil, that doesn't, that doesn't have a very long reload speed or, or anything or something like that, then yes, you're like wasting attributes and talents. But if you use it with, for example, the Black Market AK, which has a very hard uh, recoil to control, or if you use it with an LMG, which has a very long reload time then or, or very hard recoil again like the the black market AKM uh, if you know in which weapons to actually use it and invest to it I think that you will uh, see a big difference in your gameplay and you are gonna end up lacking it because there is no point in stacking up uh, weapon damage and critical hit damage and critical hit chance if you cannot get your shots to hit. For example, right now I I'm trying to find a good build for the black market AKM uh, and showcase it in another video. Uh, so I've been testing out different type of loadouts and I realized that it has a weird recoil. It's not very hard to control but in medium to long ranges, which is what I really like playing at, uh, the, the weapon suffers from a very bad accuracy. So I decided to throw in the braced uh, chest piece uh, talent and get that extra 45% uh, weapon handling when I'm behind cover and also have another like 18% weapon handling for my attributes and as you can see the gameplay in the background the, the, the weapon even in very long distances is actually very accurate. So I think that it all comes down to you actually using weapon handling when you have to, when you need to, when it will be useful to your playstyle. If you use weapon handling when you don't need to, then yes, it's not gonna be a good attribute. But if you know when to use it and how to use it, I think that you'll have uh, you you will see a huge impact in your uh, play playstyle and in your experience with uh, that attribute. So I highly suggest you to either test it out with the right build, with the right weapon, a weapon that needs to have weapon handling. Or to not use it at all if you're playing, let's say, with a tighter box, then yeah, having weapon handling, it's no good use. Uh, but if you play with an AKM, which has a very hard recoil to control, then definitely I would suggest you to add some weapon handling to your build and test it out. Anyways, guys, that was it for today's video. A short video just talking about weapon handling. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe for more. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.